Okay, folks, it's hot, so I got the fan running, but I'm sort of set up. Uh, I got to get some solid rods so I can make some uh, hairpins, radius rods. So I'm sort of stuck, not being able to do much front end work until then. And because I can't let the weight down or anything. And, you know, hopefully my, my height's right. If it's not, you know, we can re drill and change it. But anyway, uh, that's what we're working on. But I guess we're going to find something else to work on. So we'll probably move to a different area on it here and see what happens. All right. So this is what you do when I leave. Hmm? Sleeping in my car? Hmm. Go back to sleep. Okay, folks. So we've gotten the bat wings tacked on, and I've got one top radius. Well, hairpin or radius rod made. I'm going to make the bottom one, make it come back, and then we're going to make it turn up into this one. And we're going to do that by heating it up, bending it. Okay, so we're going to heat it in my smelter because I don't have any oxygen. So we'll get the, the whole end of it red hot. Then I'm going to put this whole starter housing inside of this vise, but I'm going to weld a piece on it to slide the end of that one inch pipe in. And we're going to push it down and roll it around it. That's the plan anyway, so uh, let me get that of heat and get a piece welded on this and get it in our vise. Okay, it was getting dark on me, so I didn't have time to show everything, but I just welded that piece on there where I could slide it in, and I bent it down around it. Worked out good. I'll show you what we got. Okay, here's the hairpins that we're going to run, and that's how I made them. Uh, not necessarily like any particular design or anything like that, but it's just the way I felt like making them, so that's how I made them. I'll take it back off and do all you know some good welding on it. Uh, I can add something in right here if I want, you know, uh, you know, to strengthen it up a little bit. But when we let this down, I'm hoping it's going to go down about an inch and a half, uh, so that will bring you know everything up a little bit, and I think that's going to work out really well. Uh, I like it. It's going to clear my steering. I cut this steering arm completely off. And we're going to build one, and I'll show you how to build one to put up here because I want the steering up above it. And uh, that'll make it easier, and we won't have any clearance issues then. So that'll work out really well. And I've got enough stuff to make the, actually to make the rear ones too, but it's the steel I got for it is solid, but it's pitted some, so uh, we'll have to clean it up. But we'll... Uh, We'll use it. Now this is 7 8 solid instead of the 1 inch. And uh, so I use 7 8 there and then I'm using 1 inch on the back. So, But these are uh, 28 inches long from, uh, you know, jam nut to jam nut. And normally they're, I think most of them are about 27 inches long. And I probably could have went a little longer with this engine, this frame and stuff. But that's okay. You know, the piece he had, I could get four pieces out of to make this. That's, that's all I was worried about. So anyway, didn't get uh, much video done today, but I think we'll go ahead and post it anyway, and we'll start over again tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have, hopefully, if I, you know, if I'm not too busy, we'll have the other one made, have this one finished up. We'll get our bat wings welded on permanent. I want to make sure that they're exactly where I want them. I'm angling them back so they'll be the right direction. Uh, want to make sure you know everything's plumb and square and straight and all that good stuff and uh, we'll get the other side done the same way and then we can let it down and if it's uh, if it's not close enough to the frame and not low enough I can re-drill the bat wing right here and move that but I'm hoping I'm not going to have to don't really want to but you know whatever it takes we're going to get it right so and you know there's a little controversy over whether you can use hairpins with a round tube axle because when one side goes up and the other side of the stays goes down, it sort of puts a twisting motion on it. And it's, you know, I know people, some people are gonna call BS, but it's, it's really a myth. Uh, and if you look, uh, Speedway sells one of these front ends with this same suspension. And they've been selling one for years like that. People have ran them for years like that. And they've given no, no problems. Uh, I think what happened, there was a company that was making them, and this is my understanding, and they was using a straight tube across here, 
and then they was pressing in the drops somehow and that's where there was an issue and it got sort of blown out of proportion and a lot of people say you know it's, it's the round tube will break but so far I haven't ever seen it happen uh, no one that that I've ever talked to has had it happen to them and I haven't seen pictures of it or anything like that I'm not saying there's none out there but but until it cracks and gives me trouble I'm you know I'm happy with it what do you think Nana? look okay? Nana hey oh I guess it's alright she's rubbing on alright see you all right, almost forgot to show you our cucumbers. Most of them are busting through. Get some water on them. I watered them earlier. About time to water them again, I guess. Okay, folks, this is the last one we got to thread. So I figured I'd show you each process of how I do it. You know, a lot of you, I'm sure, have seen stuff like this, but anyway, we're going to show it anyway. All right. Center bit first. Take it out. My reverse is not working on my drum switch. And I need to buy a drum switch, so but that's okay. I don't have to reverse enough to worry about it, so I'm just gonna back it out real quick. We're gonna take it out, we're gonna clean it, knock it out, and then we're gonna run the tap back down in it one time and back out, and she'll be done. Alright? Okay folks, here's the following day. They're rolling on. So I've got both of my bars welded up and now I need to make some pieces to go on the frame mount the back of the hind joints and you want these strong I think what I'm going to do is make a piece like this that'll weld on the front of the frame and bend in and weld underneath and put a hole in it and mount it so that's what we're going to do cut these out and bend them and get two of them on here and then uh, we're going to be able to let the weight of the the engine down on the suspension and everything here very shortly all right okay folks that's it it's ready to uh it's ready to weld so it won't take me long at all to get enough weld on it that i feel comfortable to drop it and once i drop it we will uh be able to see what kind of height we've got uh one thing about it 
Oh, uh, let me see. I didn't get that good and clean, did I? Well, I've got it down. There's a rib around it. It's the higher in the center. But I've been trying to keep an eye. I know this ain't the perfect way to do it, but and I can't much see it. Let me see. We're right around 10. So, I mean, that's no problem to change by moving our our uh, clevises here. You know, move one out, one in. We'll get it adjusted right in, but, you know, that's pretty close. So, you know, that won't be hard at all to work with. And, you know, seven or eight, I think, is what we're going to end up going. But to change it, you know, three or four degrees is not a not a problem at all got plenty of adjustment I put plenty of threads down inside uh, so we can adjust it here to get our caster and then to line it up long ways you know the axle will find a spot on the frame and measure to but to make sure that we've got it exact this way you know then we can adjust our uh, hind joint at the back and once we get that you know then it's and it, you know, I've measured it out. It's where it's supposed to be. But when you're finished up and you're done and it's an eighth inch off, it's nice to have a way to adjust it and make sure you're right. So let me jump on here and weld up enough real quick to be able to, to set this thing down and we'll see how much suspension we've got. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's gonna work out, I don't know. It may not go down a whole lot. It may not go down too much. Uh, let me show you what the height is what we have between our axle and our frame right now. I was figuring about four inches, but I don't know. Yeah, we're at three and a half. So if we can, if we can bring it down about an inch, two and a half, down to maybe two, I think we'd be all right. And like I said, if we run into problems, it's no problem to re-drill and raise or lower. And I could have put extra holes in it, but I didn't really want to do that. Uh, you know, it'd have been nice to make it adjustable, but it'll be fine. Uh, let's get her welded up and set her down. Looks like I went too low. Spring shackles are fine. They're at a good angle. No problems there. Got plenty of swing left. Problem is, I think we'll be too close to the axle. We got some. We just came down too far. Okay. Let me see. On this situation, there's more than one way to fix it, but I think the best way is going to be to redraw our holes. I was putting too much stock in that uh, spring, and I'm not thinking about the weight of that, I guess. We're at an inch and a half. A little closer on this side. Well, because it's leaning, this, we don't have the, the car level. So, uh, anyway. It's not bottoming out, but I'm sure it will. I can't even make it do it, believe it or not. There it goes. I did it once or twice there, but uh, okay. It's not a problem at all to come in here and drill two more holes for this piece, just uh, up a little bit higher. And uh, We'll just raise everything up and rebolt it. You know, another way I could do this is raise the center of the spring up. It actually came with two plates, and I put the plates on bottom. But I don't know if the plates would fit over this hole, and you'd want it centered. That'd been a half inch. I don't think that'd be enough anyway. Two quarter inch plates. We could notch the frame too, and uh, put some. You know, the strength's not up there on the frame. 
I was real worried about it. I could put some round tubes inside the frame on each side to help with the clearance and just leave it like it is. I don't know. Y'all can tell me what you think. I mean, the ride height's pretty, pretty good where it's at. It'd actually be nice if I could leave it where it's at and probably leave the back where it's at and just set the suspension up back there. So radiator will be here Thursday. I think Thursday, yeah, Thursday. Uh, I've got to get to work on the rear suspension. Like I said, I've got the pieces I need to build the radius rods like I want on the back. So we'll slowly get at that and uh, see how that goes. All right, here's the end of the day. Most of them have come up. So we'll see what they look like tomorrow morning. Seems like they do good overnight and early in the morning. So it won't be too long. We'll be planting them. All right. Okay, folks. Back to work tomorrow, and we'll see what we can get figured out on this thing. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye.